I know I'm late to the game, but I do not care. We are talking about Love is Blind today. We're talking about the reunion. We're talking about part two. We're talking about everything. Obviously, we all know the first couple I want to talk about is Zenab and Cole. There's a lot to be said. The internet is divided. She got me in the first half. In the first half, I was very much like Zenab needs to get out. And to be fair, I still think it was great that she got out because it seemed like she had a lot of pre-existing self-confidence issues. Not necessarily because Cole is an abuser or is trying to make her feel like she's fat. I feel like that was already pre-existing in her head. So the minute he said Colleen was hot, I think it was game over. I feel like everything he was gonna say, she was going to interpret it in her way, which is coming from a low self-confidence, I guess, area. So everything was gonna seem 10 times worse than what it was. Cole is immature, I'll say that for sure. But I think she's giving him too much credit on what he was trying to do and he was trying to pull the strings to make her feel like less confident and make her feel fat and all that stuff. I feel like he definitely has a type and she's not it as he has let us know but I feel like he definitely wasn't trying to make her lose weight or trying to make her do certain things I think that was her putting on her insecurities onto what he's saying the cutie scene guys I don't know what to say what Netflix the Netflix producers are messy and they come through at the same time the editors the way they added that cutie scene in there I was shocked the thing that irritates me about that whole thing and about how they were ganging up on Cole. The whole reunion, I'm pretty sure that most of the things that they were hearing that Cole was doing was from Zainab and she's not necessarily... What's that word called? In movies when you have a narrator that is not necessarily trustworthy. And to be fair, I don't think she was lying. I think she genuinely interpreted what he was saying in those ways. But it sucks because from what I saw from the cutie scene, it's not that way at all. So it's one of those things where he said, he genuinely said what she said he said. But the context, the way he said it, his tone, the meaning behind it was so off. Like it was just so off base that in that moment, even if Cole tried to defend himself and say that he didn't say those things or he didn't mean it that way, no one was going to believe him. They're going to be like, oh Cole, you just up to your shit again or whatever. So I felt really bad for Cole. Everyone was ganging up on him. After one thing, there was another. Raven had something to say. Alexa had something to say. Brennan had something to say. Nancy had something to say. And just everyone... Hey, I don't know that one. Oh, uh, oops. I, can't, I, said, I said Alexa. Everyone had something to say. And it was just a whole mess. And I, the people that actually irritated me the most was Nancy and Brennan. Because first of all, Brennan, why are you even in it? Like, I feel like he should just stop. Talk about his relationship and not say anything. And I like... I like Alexa and Brennan, but when they were doing all that, I was just like, but I actually like them as a couple. Um, and then Nancy, 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 you have bright teeth. You have your own battle. You have the call coming in from inside the house. You're over there talking about someone else's phone call. She actually complimented Bartiste <laughs> on being honest. All the things that Bartiste did, that Cole did, she praised Bartiste for it and she like slammed Cole for it. Make it make sense because the sense is not making. I don't see it anywhere to be made. The Cole thing was just too much. I feel like he's definitely immature, like I said before. I feel like he definitely had some faults. And I feel like that this stuff he's saying comes more from an immature place versus a vindictive, I'm gonna make you feel bad about your weight <laughs> place. That's how I feel. I am happy, however, that the editors showed the cutie scene because without that scene, I feel like it might have just been left up to context and people would have actually think he was saying all that stuff. And also another part that got me was how she was saying like, oh, there's a lot of edits that they left out, that stuff that you said and did, that they left out of edits. With reality shows, the editors and producers want the most drama possible. It would be very weird if there was a bunch of stuff happening in the background that they wouldn't include in the cut especially if it's him being like horrible because that is drama in itself is going to get people talking on social media and all that stuff so for them to just not have that in the edits that would be kind of weird but hey it's not my experience i don't know she knows what happened to her in the grand scheme of things i think it's somewhere in the middle i think that cole was probably saying some wild shit that he shouldn't have been saying and i think that she also took it in a more deep way than he might have met it because of her pre-existing self-confidence issues. So I think it's somewhere in the middle. I don't necessarily think either of them are lying. I think they're 
saying how they experienced it from, from their point of view and from her point of view that's how she experienced it and it just sucks because even if it might not be necessarily where he was coming from that's how she took it and, and on his case he's like what did i do <laughs> because he is kind of immature and he probably doesn't have the self-awareness not say certain things so that's where that is i'm happy that they're not together they shouldn't be together i think he needs someone that is definitely more like him and she needs someone she probably needs to be in a relationship where the guy consistently like lifts her up and she do that she has to do that for herself too but i think it's also there's some guys that just naturally make you feel great right make you feel great 24 7 and that's that's what she needs because cole is not the one if you have any self-confidence issues i don't think cole is the one to help because uncle is just in his own world doing his own thing and he'll just be like la 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 you're not at the 10 she's a 10 out of 10 and he doesn't see anything wrong with it because he's in his own world moving on <laughs> we have bartiste and nancy i was really surprised that they didn't go more in on bartiste in the reunion not necessarily because he said no okay, i feel like he has the four right to say no but how he dealt with it like when her family came to talk to them I think he was being so disrespectful to her family like he was saying this is your fault you're making it worse and he's just saying all these things it's kind of like don't talk to someone's family like that not to talk up their mother like i feel like in that situation when her family was coming up to them after the wedding he should have just stayed quiet he should have just taken it on the chin and say nothing and if nancy wants them to leave she can say leave he shouldn't have been saying anything because i just feel like there's certain boundaries you don't cross with people's families and there's certain ways you don't talk to them and he he did not give a shit. He was just talking anyhow. I, I was actually surprised that Nancy wasn't like, Cole, stop. Like, what are you, why are you talking to my mom like that? Or why are you talking to my family like that? But he should also know not to do that. But um, that was wild. So I'm surprised nothing about that came up. And like I said before, I think he did a lot of things that they ran up on Cole for doing. But no one ran up on him. No one said anything to him. Everyone just let him go breezy, easy breezy, complimenting him for being honest. <laughs> it was just very weird. And I feel like, I wonder if it's because Raven shut him down so quickly in the pool. That's why people just let it go. Because he still did the same thing. Even if Raven had a different reaction than Colleen did, it still stands that he was engaged and he went to a different girl and he was trying to like talk about how good looking she was and all these things. But no one wants to bring that up, right? Anyways, I feel like um, Nancy on her side, I love Nancy. I actually liked her on the show a lot, but that reunion pissed me off how she was going on in Cole when she has the exact same issues with Bartiste. Maybe even worse. I would say even worse in honesty. And she was just dead silent when it came to his, praising him. But when it comes to Cole's, you have all them out in the world. Make it make sense. Next, we have Colleen and Matt. Colleen. Colleen, this girl was shaken. She was breathing hard. She was breathing very hard. And especially when they brought up the whole pool thing, I was like, girl, are you gonna have a heart attack? Like, it, I don't know. I don't know. Like I've been saying, I've been side-eyeing Matt for a bit now, like just one eye, just always looking at him. And I don't know about that one. And it seems very hush-hush. Like the hosts weren't asking them anything about their relationship and the fights and the weird stuff going on with matt they were just kind of letting it go and i find that really weird like doesn't anybody else notice it like didn't the people on the panel notice it didn't the hosts notice it and the producers notice it shouldn't they take some kind of initiative to make sure everything is okay since these people met on your show maybe she was uncomfortable because of how she was portrayed on the show and she didn't like how she was portrayed on the show and that's kind of getting to her maybe it's for different reasons but either way i hope they're fine I thought they were going to get married, and they did. So I'm three for three. If that whole dynamic, that weird dynamic isn't there, I think they're, we're, they make a really cute couple. But it's hard to even say that, that because something seems off. I don't know. Something seems off. I remember at the beginning of the season, she was all giddy and yippy and hyper and happy-go-lucky. And if you compare that to the reunion, and even towards the end of the season, she is very different. So that's concerning. Um the love is blind girls need to go check up on their girl make sure she's okay because ooh, that the way she was shaking and breathing and like even her composure and just her body language and everything was just it's a no for me i don't know about that we have alexa and brennan now i love this couple i always like them um they were the dark horse of the season that i didn't see coming from a mile away when they first got together i was kind of like eh, i don't know about that but then as time progressed i was like they're actually I still think they're the cutest thing ever 
but the way they were acting at the reunion pissed me off like i was just so irritated with them especially with brennan i feel like with alexa i was irritated with her a lot because she had a lot to say and i was just kind of like can you just leave people to like work out their own drama and stay out of it i understand that they have the perfect couple image so they feel like they can speak on everybody else's thing but i feel like they need to just let people handle their own stuff and not talk about it but I think I expect that from Alexa, which is not a good excuse, but I that's probably why it wasn't irritating me as much as Brennan. Come like, Brennan, you're supposed to be like a nice guy. You're supposed to be chill, laid back, relax. Why are you going in on a call like this? It was like he was trying to be the knight in shining, shining armor. And that is great and all, but when the situation is very much, you don't know, like when you don't know the situation, you're just hearing a side of the story and you're not hearing both sides it's kind of like what you doing just let them figure it out by themselves let them go back and forth you don't need to keep interjecting and making someone feel like shit on top of something you don't even know for a fact so that was kind of irritating me a lot but yeah alexis and brennan they're cute and i can see them lasting i can see them. i think they're actually really cute so i hope they last lastly we have sk and raven the dynamic duo i was so happy when they said they're still together i was just like yes I am so happy for them. I was so happy to hear that they're still together. I think they made a, the right move by not getting married. I was surprised when SK said no. Even in my other video, I said, I think SK and Raven are gonna say yes. But if anybody says no, I think it's gonna be Raven. Little to my surprise, little to my knowledge, SK is out here saying, I do not. I felt so bad, especially when his mom was like mouthing like, I do. And then he's like, I do not. I was like, ah, oh, my heart. And I think it's so cute, the relationship that SK's mother and Raven have. I think it's so nice and it's so heartwarming how SK's mom um, welcomed Raven with like open arms. And I was just like, this is just so cute. Like, I still think they're cute and I'm so happy to get there together. And I hope that they last through SK's schooling <laughs> because long distance. Whew. Did you take in when the hosts brought up the whole thing that happened with Raven and Bartiste, Raven just, she just acted like Bartiste was not even part of her vocabulary. Like she addressed it for two seconds and then she moved back right back onto her and SK. I was like, this is the energy. When people say, make sh like act as if you're in a relationship, this is what they mean. It's not a everyday nice, everyday everybody ha everybody's feelings has to be accounted for. Your partner's feeling is the one that matters the most. She's the poster child for how people want their partners to act when they're in a relationship and someone's trying to get at them. She just... Bartiste who? <laughs> Was Bartiste even on the show? I don't know. But she just said what she had to say and she moved on to her and SK and she kept the focus on her and SK the whole time. And they're just like, they're so, they're cute. They're cute. I'm so happy they're together. And I feel like I've been talking for a long time. There's probably a lot of things I miss. You know when you're making, when you have so many thoughts and you're trying to get them all at once and you just like missing so many things? That's me right now. It was a good reunion. Poor Cole. I hope that he went home and he was able to distress because that was, I was tired from him. I was just like, geez, Raven coming at him. Nancy coming at him. Zainab coming at him. Brennan coming at him. Alexa coming at him. And then the whole thing about him getting some girl's number at the bachelor party and no other guy spoke up really. Like Matt kind of spoke up, but they're all acting like, you know if you went somewhere else after where you were, why isn't anyone saying we didn't go in anywhere else? Everyone's just keeping quiet. And I feel like with how Brendan was going in, at, in on him, I feel like if there were girls around, Brendan would have said it, but he didn't because he just, no one was trying to defend Cole. Like I feel like they, in their head, they thought that the reunion was gonna go one way and people were gonna react, like the outside was gonna react to it a certain way and they didn't want to be on the bad end or on the side of the bad person, which is Cole. So they went the other way. So even in instances where they could have defended him, they didn't want to, but then it went the opposite way to the public. Like, I don't know. Cause I'll just kind of like, why isn't anyone speaking up about this? Like Matt said he went home, but no one's really speaking up for Cole and saying, oh, he wasn't with a the girl. They would know they were with him the whole night, no? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like Brendan was like, oh, I was drunk out of my mind. So do you don't have eyes cause you were drunk out of your mind? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm done. I'm done. That was the video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about everything. Give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. Let me know your thoughts on Cole and Zainab. Let me know your thoughts on Matt and Colleen. Let me know your thoughts on everything. I just want to know. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. My channel is a mess right now. I feel like I'm doing vlogs. I'm doing let's chat. I'm doing reactions. I'm just doing everything. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. As you can tell, subscribe anyways. And I'll see you on the flip side.
Bye.